Welcome. Let's take a look at some examples where we can use the side angle size similarity theorem. What we want to do, we want to determine if the following triangles are similar to each other. Within the two triangles that we are given, one thing that stands out is that there is a pair of congruent angles, angle C and angle F. And when you have a pair of congruent angles, this is a good indicator that you want to think about side angle size similarity theorem. To verify that we can use side angle side, now we want to show that the line segments on the sides of those angles are in proportion to each other. Now let's look at the proportionality between line segment AC and BF. That will be equal to 3 over 5. Now let's look at the proportion of the line segment BC and EF. That would be equal to 6 over 10. But notice that those proportions are not equal to each other. But notice that in the second proportionality, we can simplify this. 3 over 10 can be simplified to 3 over 5. What we have shown is that now the sides are in proportion to each other. They both have the same ratio. Before we make our conclusion, I want to point out that when we're looking at this ratio, notice that the numerators, AC, and BC, they belong to the same triangle. And the denominators BF and EF, they belong to the same triangle. So we gotta be careful with how we set up those ratios. There has to be an order. The numerators should come from line segments of the same figures, and the denominators should come from lines from the same figure as well. So now we have all the requirements that are needed to use side angle side. Therefore, we can conclude that these two triangles are similar to each other. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, we want to show that triangle WBX is similar to triangle YBZ. And a general strategy is that when two triangles are overlapping with each other, it's better to just draw them separately. So let's draw them separately. Now that we have separated those triangles, notice that angle B is present on both of those triangles. Therefore, we have a pair of congruent angles. And remember our strategy. If we have a pair of congruent angles, we might want to think about side angle side. To see if we can use side angle side, now let's find the proportion of the line segments of those congruent angles. Let's find the proportion between WB and BY. WB has a length of 4, and to find the length of YB, we need to add 8 and 4, which is 12. Now we can simplify this as 1 third. Now let's find the proportion of BX and BZ. BX has a length of 5. And now if we add both of those line segments, we get a length of 15. So we can say that VZ has a length of 15. Which also can get simplified to one third. Notice that the sides are in proportion. They are in a scale factor of one third. Then therefore we can conclude that these two triangles are similar by side angle side similarity theorem. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.